Hi guys, it's Squishy Boba Forever, and today I'm going to show you how to make this jack-o'-lantern squishy. I'll leave all the materials I used in the description box below. First you want to cut your memory foam into a cube, and that will make it easier for you to shape the foam into a ball. After you rounded your cube, it should look something like this, and then we're going to create dents. I made dents all over the squishy and I cut them kind of roughly so I had to go back and smoothen them out. Then we're going to create a lid for this so just cut off a portion of the top. I'm using a sharpie to draw out how much of the inside I want to cut out. Then I'm just going to use my scissors and cut around it. You want to cut a pretty big hole so you can fit a light inside of it. And afterwards you should easily be able to pull out the inside. This is the part where you can get creative, you can draw whatever type of face or design you want. I just drew the common jack-o'-lantern triangle eye face. Then you can go ahead and cut out those pieces. The final step for the shaping process is to cut out the stem, which is just a cylinder shape. Now we can move on to the painting process, so I'm just going to paint this entire thing orange. By the way, I used three coats of this orange paint. After I was finished painting this, I realized that the inside of the pumpkin is actually a lighter color, so I had to go back and paint that. Don't forget to also paint the stem. So yeah, you're basically done making the squishy now. One minor problem with this is that the puffy paint is sticky, so it might stick together like this, but you can just pull them apart. Otherwise, it's very slow rising and airy and fun to squish. So now for the lights, I just decided to use these fairy lights because I had them in my room. You can go ahead and use any other light that will fit inside. However, I don't recommend that you squish it like I did here because that could be dangerous. Also, you don't want to turn on the light for too long as it could be a fire hazard. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!